Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous summer day in December here in the shithole town of uh, Austin, Texas, where we have actually made it to December of 2018. Do you believe it? Uh, December 1st, 2018. In fact, and the little dog and I need to get back to the Optimus Club Christmas tree lot to sell dead trees to clueless morons. But before we go get optimistic again, I just need to bring you today's We Are So Fucked headline. The worst and previously thought headline of the day. I was going to do another good news uh, story of the day. I think I need maybe once a week I'm going to start doing a good news story so we have a story that suicides have uh, hit the highest rate in the U.S. in 50 years. More people have killed themselves uh, in 2018 than in any year in 50 years and I guess 2017 and we also have declining sperm rates which is uh, the better news you know an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure so we're getting the pound of cure through suicides and the ounce of present prevention through declining sperm rates from all of this crap uh, in the atmosphere. But anyway, maybe another day because right here I just opened the, the morning news and after our send off to our old friend Daddy Bush, <laughs> there's a real loss to the planet, Jesus, uh, but hell has a new resident. Uh, but let's just get right to the point from good old Associated Press. So I'm gonna let the little dog go back to bed and let Associated Press uh, tell us how things are worse than previously thought. All right, climate change is more extensive and worse than once thought. Yes, all right. <coughs> climate scientist, climate scientist. <clears throat> climate scientist missed a lot about a quarter century ago when they predicted how bad global warming would be. They missed how bad wildfires, droughts, downpours, and hurricanes would get. They missed how much ice sheets in West Antarctica and Greenland would melt and contribute to sea level rise. They missed much of the myriad public health problems and global security issues. Global warming is faster, more extensive, and just plain worse than they once thought it would be. Climate scientists say now. No shit, Sherlock. <clears throat> international negotiators meet next week in, <coughs> in Poland to discuss how to ratchet up the fight against climate change in what's called the Conference of Parties, otherwise known as COP. The world's understanding of global warming has changed dramatically since the first climate conference in 1995. Since then, the globe on average has warmed nearly three quarters of a degree Fahrenheit, otherwise known as 0 0.4 degrees Celsius. That was bullshit. But that's not even half the story. No shit, Sherlock. Now that global annual temperature increase is slightly lower than some of, you know, the worst case predictions. 
and from early 1990s forecast, yet more than a dozen climate scientists told the Associated Press that without the data, meaning the historic data, currently available in today's improved understanding of the climate, researchers decades ago were too conservative and could not come close to realizing how global warming would affect daily lives. So what they're saying here is unbelievably uh, one of the few places that has not turned out to be the worst case scenario or the worst case scenarios about global temperature rise. So even though what has happened, at least according to this, uh, it is not as bad as the worst case predictions about the actual temperature rise. What they totally missed, assuming you even believe this bullshit that it's only gone up 0 0.4 degrees Celsius, that the effects of even a smaller rise than worst case scenario are much worse than they ever would have thought that, that the uh, blowback from uh, even a modest rise in temperatures is what they totally missed. Uh, what they totally missed is how fucked we are. Okay? <clears throat> one, scientific <coughs> one scientific study this month, <clears throat> well, in November, counted up the ways, both direct and indirect, that warming has already changed Earth and society. The total number was 467 ways. <clears throat> this is University of Illinois climate scientist Donald Webbles, a co-author of the study of the recent U.S. National Climate Assessment. Quote, I don't think any of us imagined that it would be as bad as it has already gotten. <clears throat> no shit, Sherlock. For example, the intensity of severe weather. We didn't know any of that back then, and those things are pretty scary. Close quote. <clears throat> In the 1990s, when scientists talked about warming, they focused on the average annual global temperature and sea level rise. The problem is that people don't live all over the globe and they don't feel average temperatures. They feel extremes, heat, rain, and drought that hit them at home on a given day or week. And Pennsylvania State University said Pennsylvania State University climate scientist Richard Alley <coughs> quote <coughs> no I'm sorry this is uh, Washington University of Washington public health and climate scientist Christine Eby quote the younger generations are growing up where there is no normal. She said, pointing out that there have been 406 consecutive months when the world was warmer than the 20th century average. More recently, economists have joined scientists in forecasting a costly future. Yale economist William Nordhaus, who won the 2018 Nobel Prize for Economics for his work on climate change and other environmental issues, told the AP that his calculations show climate change will cost the United States $4 trillion per year at the end of the century with a reasonable projection of warming. The way science has looked at global warming has changed over the last quarter century because of better knowledge, better computers, better observations, more data, 
and in large part because researchers are looking more closely at what affects people the most. Add to that what many scientists see as an acceleration of climate change and the picture is much bleaker today than in the 1990s. Back then, Michael Mann was a graduate student exploring global warming. Said Mann, now a prominent climate scientist at Pennsylvania State University, quote, I honestly did not think that in my mid-career we would be watching the impacts of climate change play out on my television, close quote, nor that they would be so strong. Uh, man said, it, it is playing out with wildfires, rain-soaked hurricanes, flooding, drought, heat waves, and other extreme weather, he said. Scientists now better understand how changes in currents in the air, such as the jet stream and the rain cycle, can cause more extreme weather. And recent research shows how climate change is altering those natural factors. The biggest change in the science of the last quarter century According to Sir Robert Watson, a former top NASA and British climate scientist and former chair of the IPCC, says, quote, we can now attribute changes in global temperatures and even some extreme events to human activity. No shit, Sherlock. With improved knowledge and tools, scientists can now better understand extreme weather, such as hurricanes and droughts, and they can run complex computer simulations that attribute extremes to human-caused warming from the burning of coal, oil, and natural gas, Watson said. Scientists ex attribute extreme events to human-caused warming by comparing what happened in real life to simulations without heat-trapping gases from fossil fuels. They have now concluded climate change has caused more rain in hurricanes Harvey, Maria, Katrina, and others. Studies have shown climate change has worsened droughts downpours and heat waves such as the Russian heat wave of 2010 that have killed thousands of people and they have linked climate change to the growing amount of land in the western U.S. burned by wildfires which was not considered a big climate issue a couple of decades ago said University of Utah fire scientist Phil Dennison from air pollution triggered by wildfires that caused people in Northern California to don breathing masks to increased asthma attacks that send children to the hospital, medical experts, and climate change is hurting people's bodies. This is health professor Ebi again. Quote, we are seeing surprises. We are projecting changes and we are seeing them sooner than we expected. No shit, Sherlock. That includes once tropical disease carrying mosquitoes showing up in Canada and warm water shellfish bacteria showing up in Alaska, she said. Massachusetts General Hospital Emergency Room physician Dr. Renee Salas uh, said, these are not abstract statistics, but real patients. Quote, when I had to tell a tearful mother that I needed to admit her four-year-old daughter for an asthma attack, 
her fourth visit in one week, climate change was truly top of my mind because I knew her disease risk was due to rising pollen levels, Salas said. Massive ice sheets in western Antarctica and Greenland are melting much faster than scientists figured a quarter century ago. Antarctica has lost nearly three trillion tons of ice since 1992, enough to cover Texas nearly 13 feet deep, scientists have reported. Meanwhile, Greenland has lost more than 5 trillion tons in the same period. Melting in Antarctica and Greenland in the last few years, quote, literally doubled our projections of the sea level rise at the end of this century, said Mann, said Michael Mann. Non-experts, such as, of course, Donald Trump leading the pack, non-experts who reject mainstream science often call climate scientists alarmist, yet most researchers said they tend to shy away from the worst case scenarios. No shit, Sherlock. By nature, scientists said they are overly conservative. But in nearly every case, when scientists were off the mark on something, it was by underestimating the problem, not overestimating it, said Watson, the British climate scientist. But there are ultimate worst cases. These are called tipping points. No shit, Sherlock. After which change accelerates and you cannot go back. Ice sheets collapse. Massive changes in ocean circulation. Extinctions around the world, and they wind up with a quote from Jonathan Overpeck, environmental dean at the University of Michigan. Quote, in the early 1990s, we only had hints that we could drive the climate system over tipping points. We now know we might actually be witnessing the start of a mass extinction that could lead to us wiping out as much as half of the species on Earth. No shit, Sherlock. Half the species on Earth. My ass, Mr. Overpeck. How about 100 of the species of Earth, of species on Earth, as tipping points will begin falling like dead Christmas trees. Speaking of which, I have to wrap up uh, today's We Are So Fucked headline of the day and uh, put on my Optimist Club vest and head back to the Christmas tree lot to sell uh, dead trees to clueless morons as the planet just uh, catapults into a burning lake of fire. And I suggest you get out there and buy your Christmas tree while you still can. Oh, just, uh, just a note, uh, I mentioned a couple of days ago that we were receiving these trees from Oregon that the that the Christmas tree growers are literally spray painting green and uh, so we tracked down the grower yesterday in Oregon 
and they said because of climate change, because of the drought and the hot weather in the Pacific Northwest as the Pacific Northwest turns into the Pacific Southwest, that they had no choice but to start painting their brown Christmas trees green. So I am seeing firsthand uh, the effects of climate change on the Christmas tree lot. We're, we're so fucked, people. Smoke them if you got them. We all know why. Bye, guys.